it was it feels like a magical song because I'm like wow I really like it it's different to what I've done before it's uplifting it tells a story of gratitude mm. more than anything I, it was like it's to my forever person but the song speaks of gratitude because I feel like I want that's like my highest value and I feel like everyone's like Serena's a really grateful person and that's how I always am mm. so I'm very proud of the song Welcome to the Chasm Review. Today, I am joined by a very special guest. We are going all the way to England. And my guest uh, was a guest on my podcast. If you followed the Chasm Converses podcast, you will know of this lady. And if you don't, then you are going to absolutely love her. It is Serena Itsu. Hello. I'm happy to be back. <laughs> yes, absolutely. It's fantastic to hear from you again and to obviously see you as well. And so the last time we spoke, you just released your first single, Nature Foreseen. And now four and a half months later, you have another three. So <laughs> I feel like awesome. everything's so quickly. I remember the first po the podcast that we did was the first podcast interview I've ever had. So I feel like I've had a few now, but so much has happened and changed since that first podcast basically of course it's been crazy and your most recent song is the one that we're going to talk about today um called believe again so i am incredibly keen to to get talking about this so let's get going Touch that gives me warmth, I've written before oh. so i guess when nature for scene was released it was making me more inspired to write and i was reading a lot of like the interviews that i'd done like my answers and i was like okay so i've I did this with other songs, so I should get back to doing that and try this out and explore this. Mm -hmm. So with this, over the Christmas period, I think this was the start of December that Believe Again was written, yep. but um, I decided that I was going to, before I do any melody writing or anything like that, I had like a word document up and i just wrote random phrases any phrases that came to my mind i gave myself 20 minutes so free writing oh. any random phrases words creative words poetry metaphors anything really mm. and in terms of the melody it was like i had a jazz piano session with my um jazz piano teacher friend jamie peterson um not too long before i wrote to believe again mm -hmm. and we were writing another song together and he he always gives these amazing tips and tools that I always kind of like, I feel like it goes into my subconscious mind. And then when it comes to, okay, Serena, write a song, it's like, okay, a Jamie Peterson tip and trick that I can use. <laughs> but um, he told me something about experimenting with 16th notes for this new song that we were writing together. Mm -hmm. So with Believe Again, I was actually messing around when I was thinking, okay, what could the hook of the song be? And I was messing around, I was like drying my hair and I was like So it was more comical in my head. Yeah. Then I like, no, this sounds really good. And then I wrote the song and I was like, ah, Jamie's done it again. A tip that he's given has inspired a new track. So the lyrics of Believe Again are really special to me because where I was writing random phrases, one of the reasons why I also did that was because I wanted to like get as much as as much of my personality out as I possibly mm. could. So I was writing it as in my speaking voice because it's just phrases that I have in my head. So it was almost like, how would I feel when I meet someone I'm my forever person? That's how it mm. started. And it was like, oh, I feel like this and random phrases and things like that. So it's written in my tone of voice, but it ended up being a song, yes, about me to my forever person. But weirdly enough, when I released the song and it got to like promo Serena mode and what kind of types of videos could I do to promote the song? Mm. I was like, There's so many people I can relate, believe again to that's already in my life. And yeah. it's just made the song even more special, really. The recording process and like sort of, you know, putting it all together, did you approach it very similarly to the way you approached your other singles or was this one sort of taken in a completely different direction? It's really funny. I had a document and I would do this for every song that I have. Yeah. And I think when I was so excited about the song, I was like, I want to feel like I'm swimming, but I want the production to sound like I'm swimming. <laughs> <laughs> I 
really <laughs> wanted and I was like gratitude like magical feeling and I was really giving so many objectives and things like that and it made and I guess I never met this producer so his way of in my head I was like I was thinking where I'm writing this I'm thinking soulful but mm. the way I had clearly written it is like no she wants it upbeat she wants it uplifting and she wants yeah. the swimming vibe so he kind of took that and he created what you hear of believe again with really upbeat production mm. so when I first looked back I was a bit like oh no I don't know I don't know how I feel about it because I don't know if this is like too upbeat for Serena I didn't know what to think mm. about it and the more I listened to it whilst I was driving in my car mm. I was like oh, this is really good and if anything he gave me exactly what I was asking for and showed to me this is actually how you're feeling based on mm. what you've written and it's I couldn't hear it any other way now. You mentioned like your imagery and the way that you sort of felt when you had it was like, you know, you were swimming and that kind of thing, like, you know, but there's like, you know, driving and like, you know, streets and that sort of stuff, a bit of suburbia with palm trees and whatnot. So the whole car thing, it's when I listened to the song and I was like, okay, what could be the concept for this? And it was Back to the Future inspired. Oh, so, nice. That's sick. Yeah. And because I have the line, now I want to, now I want to see, no, now I want to live forever knowing how I see our future. Mm. So, and then the next line goes, time knows, time knows. And it's, I used a lot of, um, I say that I'm, I'm obviously a master NLP practitioner mm. and the techniques that we use with clients to help them see their future to kind of make them feel excited and be like okay keep going keep driving keep being you keep succeeding and things like mm. that it's meta questioning and one of the questions you would ask yourself ask a client is yeah how will you know when you have it how will you know when you feel it so i described it all in believe again's lyrics but um the line time knows time knows is something that a coach would say in a technique to someone where you'd be like okay we've gone through this whole technique and at the end it's called future pace time knows you have what it takes to achieve your dream you have that all within you and all these things that you would say yeah. so for me it's I want to live forever knowing how I see our future I see my higher self guiding me going time knows time knows and then the lyrics flow so back to the future it's almost like you're in this new future and all of a sudden you see color because your world is opening up and new opportunities are flowing. You are happy, yeah. you're breathing, you're free. And that's where it's come from. Well, there was a part in that where like, you know, when you was, I think when you started talking about the car, back to the future, whatever, where it just sort of hit me then I was like, oh, that's what it is. It like became very clear to what was going on. Like, oh, right. That's where it came from. That's the connection. That's the thing. It's very, very clever. It's incredibly, it's incredibly well done. Real, like fantastic. Well done for you for doing that. And who did the lyric video? Because it's so well done. Like, it's just, it, there's so much around it. As I said, it's so colorful. There's so much like dynamic graphics in it as well. Like who created that for you? It was actually someone on Viver. His name's called Yusuf. Oh. So I've met him either. But, wow, um, really? Great. I was able to give, and what was amazing about it is I just gave keywords. I said back to the future themed, mm. and I said something that takes you on a journey. So he came up with, he was able to hear, I said, go by your own creative interpretation. I don't mm. really want to say too much. Mm. So he came up with his own illustrations and things like that. So there's one part where it's like, had a sign and lead me to you, told me that it's now forever. And with that, it goes straight to like musical tapes. And I know I said on my previous podcast, my mum had so many like story tapes of music. And there was mm, one, yeah. my baby tape, which has so many songs which describe me. And mm. when you did that, I was like, wow, this is really, really good. <laughs> My final thoughts on the on the song, as I said, like it's such a fun, upbeat song. As you said before, it's it's almost like a different sort of a turn and a twist for you from the other songs that you've done. But I still think that it really does suit you. And I think that through finding that song, like finding that style suiting you, it kind of really does open the door up for you to then sort of, you know, go into that style, maybe even a little bit more and see what else you can kind of bring out of it. And I think like, yeah, this song's almost like that sort of that 
that starting point, I suppose, for that type of style. Definitely. I feel like it's a st it feels like a start of a new chapter of music. It's been so wonderful to have you talk about Believe Again to all my listeners and all my viewers. Please do follow Serena on her YouTube and on Spotify. Listen to Believe Again, watch the awesome lyric video and go through the back catalogue and watch the other music videos for her other songs. So Blue, My Heart's Yours and of course Nature Foreseen. Um, thank you so much for joining me, Serena. Again, I wish you all the best in the rest of your music journey and I'm sure I'll catch up with you again soon. Thank you so much, Caden. I appreciate your time.